Brian Molko, welcome to the show. Thank you. These are your big ones. The big ones. You've been ill. Are you feeling better? A little bit, yes, thank you. What was yeah. wrong with you? I don't know, I think I just got back from Bangkok, so I think no. I brought back the bird flu, you know. You sure it was just the, the bird flu? I hope so. <laughs> Did you have any sort of massage? Uh, only in the hotel, no happy endings, no. Okay. Unfortunately, no. Favourite owl? Favourite owl? I don't know, a parliament, a whole bunch of them. A parliament of owls? Is yeah. that the collective Yeah, I think owl? so, yeah. I didn't know that. How did you know that? I don't know, European education, maybe? Yeah. Very impressive. How would you describe your unmentionables? Uh, heavy, dark, and pendulous. Is that a song that's on the new album? <laughs> it's from the Rocky Horror Show. <laughs> okay. um, using rhyme, tell us what you think about carpet. Um, if I'm feeling like a munch off of it, I might eat my lunch. Okay. You are a bisexual. Indeed, yeah. What advice can you give to young bisexuals trying to find their way in the world? Uh, keep your options open and uh, don't let everybody else who's got a small mind get you down. Yes. There you go. Uh, are you currently involved in a loving relationship? I just had a baby. So no. Yeah, so I've, I've stepped over into the breeder, you know, place. You yeah. are a bisexual breeder? Yes, I am, yeah. It happens. And so you've uh, breeded with a lady? Yes, I have, yes. You're essentially a normal person. Well, this with is, makeup, yeah. This is, it's normal. still, you know, this is just for, like, to be a bit fancy now. Yeah, it's all you're just a, You're it's, just a dull old just, man it's now. It's just myth-making. It's just, you know, trying to create some kind of mystery and mystique around my person when, in fact, you know, I'm quite... I'm very, very dull. I think you've, you've never been interested in mankind at all. Uh, I'm interested in Star Trek more than mankind. <laughs> okay. Aliens, maybe. I like your voice. Thank you. Any tips for doing it? Uh, for doing my voice? Mm. <sighs> I really don't know. I just open my mouth and it comes out, so, you know. Specifically uh, the singing? Um, I don't know. Try, try to get a bit of a, an American accent and then mix it with a Southeast London accent. And then you've kind of got it, you know. Hey, Governor. Hey. Hey. All right, mate. And it all breaks down to the role reversal, mate. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, <laughs> a little bit more practice and you'll be halfway there, you know. Um, you recently collaborated with Michael Stipe. Yeah. Is it true that he's one of those... Uh... Singers. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And he's quite a big singer in a big band. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. And did he tell you he was a singer or did he keep quiet no, about it? I already it? knew he was a singer. You knew? Yeah. You'd yeah. read about it? Well, you know, it's just, it's pretty obvious. It is, isn't it? Yeah, you know. You often make sexually provocative music. Do you ever unwittingly arouse yourself? Um, I don't know, sometimes when I'm in the bath and I hear one of our songs on the radio, yeah, you know, occasionally it happens, depending on what song it is. What's the song that gets you going? Yeah, it's that role reversal song, yeah. you know, yeah. And it all breaks down to the role, imagine you're in the bath now, Yeah. it all breaks down it's, to the role reversal. It's not working for me right now due to the absence of water, you know. I'm losing my mind, she's universal, okay. killing me down. It's not exactly the right temperature. You know, and there's no bubbles. Getting me down, <laughs> I'm running over Where's you. Where's the bubbles, oh, Simon? Oh. I need some bubbles. <laughs> and it all breaks down to the row. Special K, special K. Well, it, it I've got help. the special K. It might help if you fed me these grapes. <sighs> done with you, done okay. with you. Try my best. <coughs> Last time you sat on something sticky? Uh, in Bangkok. And it's not what you're thinking. I don't think you're anything. No, no, I think it was a spilt orange juice or something. Right. Yeah. And you sat on it. And I stood up immediately, yeah. And then you went to the massage parlor. No. Then no. you got ill. Then I went to the dressing room and changed. Okay. Yeah. How would I, as a cool guy mm -hmm. about town, go about wooing Brian Molko from Placebo? <laughs> That's a very good question. How would I woo you? How would you woo me? If I haven't already. I think, you know, I'm completely smitten, you've already done it, you know, so, yeah. yeah, you're there, you're there, you know, just, you know, a high, a high quality interview and I'm anyone's, yeah. Really? Absolutely. Is this, does this often happen then? No, not very often. Because there aren't you're, many you're high quality You're quite interviews. unique, yeah. Okay. Uh, but you're doing MTV after this. You might go off with them as well. Yeah, but everybody's got to slum it every now and again. Yeah. yeah kind of thing. To I sell records. Um, Brian Moko, Placebo, thank you very much. Those are your big ones. Simon Amstel from Popwell, thank you very much.